What is good guys, we are back with Black Oblivion vs. Zangbro, this is Smoke and Snake Dread Phase 1. If you're wondering why there's a Dougie on your screen, uh, Arena Trap was still allowed in Phase 1, but most of the games that I have on my computer uh, are from uh, Phase 2 or Phase 3. It's only like two games um, that still have a Dougie, so yeah, don't worry if you like uh, annoyed by Dougie. Um, I was just going through my files earlier on my computer, and like most all my files, they are like named after the date when I recorded them. So I was just clicking on uh, naming them after the, the names of the players, so like I have like a better view to see how many games I still have to do. And dude, there was so many games, like at least 50 games, like you guys can expect so much content. But yeah, pretty much let's talk about the teams, I know both teams. Uh, Zamrock is using a TTK team that was used in a Blunder, Blunder used it in a live. Um, it is uh, Leftovers, Bulky Boo would protect. And leech seed and the cross one with grassy seeds so that gets a defense boost. It has star power, call my moonlight. Uh, I forgot the last move, but yeah, it's pretty much uh, set up the cross mine. Dougie's to um, trap stuff like heat train. And yeah, look, like a has a heat train, so Dougie's gonna be nice here. The daddy is Scarf on Zamrock's team with uh, trick, Psy Shock, Defog, and Draco for recall correctly. Uh, standard bulky, uh, Sadastilia, standard bulky packs. They might still have a uh, black, uh, not black slash, they might still have shed shell. Um, Dougie, uh, like Arena Trap was still allowed, like I said. And yeah, Black Oblivion's team is also known that this was a few times on my channel already, so I don't want to talk about it too much. It's uh, Scarf Land. Black Oblivion used it before with Scarf Heat as well. But then this, um, it's uh, probably Scarf Land, and the turn is Rocks. Um, Madman Storm Taunt, Off Power, Standard Packs. Um, I think he has something when Toxic over Toxic Spiked. Uh, Recover Haze and Scald, the Muse, uh, Will was Defog, Ice Beam. Softball, uh, Z move, Kirum, and a copycat Lopani. The, the other three moves are standard, so let's not talk about it too much. So we see Lando lead versus uh, Ladi lead. They're both Scarf. Um, Black Oblivion is either gonna switch out or U turn. Like, uh, U turning is completely fine since Lando can take every hit from Scarf Ladi. Now he can get up his rocks here because uh, Zamrock is never gonna go hard into Duck Trio because uh, Magma Storm would bring Dougie to the Sash, and if it has Sash, then it would die to the after effect. So he turns here. Um, this makes sure that um, now you can Magma Storm and trap the packs. This makes sure that um, Zamrock cannot uh, go for recover with his packs. Even though I would have probably gone for Taunt the turn later. I guess he predicted something at T-Spike, but he has a packs to absorb that, so I'm not sure why he taunted. But yeah, we do see that um, Zamrock's Toxa packs um, might be Shed Shells, and it doesn't have it doesn't have Black Sledge if I'm seeing this correct, but he just sacks it off. Now he can go Dougie and trap the Heatran. Uh, with an off quick, but Heatran already put in work, it got the rocks up and it got rid of the packs. Yes, he has a defogger, but this is looking really nice for Black Oblivion because he has haze on his Toxa pack, so unless he plays a really bad, um, this not Cross was never going to be winning the game. So he's going to switch here uh, in the Toxa packs. And now, he either goes for Toxic Spikes or Toxic here, and then goes in the Ladi. So he goes for Toxic, so he would have been able to Toxic in a Crosma. So now he's either going to Defog or Trick here, so Black Oblivion does in the land, I think he just predicts the, the, the Defog, but Zamrock goes for a Trick and Black Oblivion looks like a complete god. Um, so Black Oblivion can go for U-turn here, I think Zamrock could have changed up his moves uh, because he tricked, so like, I think the Scarf would have been reset, but even if it would have been reset, a U-turn was completely fine. Um, this is a sub-3 attack, Skiram, so he should not go for Protect here, but he goes for Protect. I assume Zamrock does not know the team. Um, so he's gonna go for Z-move here. If it's a Fist of Steeler, I think it's uh, gonna be able to live it. But yeah, Black Oblivion is also already putting in the work. And, I mean, his Heatran would've been nice this game, but he doesn't need it to win. Um, so I think he's just gonna sack this to the Ice Beam, yep. So now he's gonna go Ladi or uh, Duck Trio. If Duck Trio has a Tectonic Rage, which it might have, then it can definitely kill Kyurem from this range. Um, he's probably gonna run the Cult now if he doesn't know the Cult. Because I know Zamrock is really busy and he like, hasn't been playing Monster 2 too much, I think. But yeah, the other option would be going Ladi and then either tricking, predicting a switch or defogging. Um, probably defogging because we, see, we have seen earlier that uh, Black Oblivion went Lando on the Ladi. And not Mew because he doesn't want his Mew to get crippled because Mew pretty much will always um, the type of Bulu in this game. Which is like, like he basically only needs the Mew for the Bulu. I mean, it also walls the Ladi if the Ladi is. Like, um, the only thing Ladi can do to Mew is cripple it with Trick, so he has to be careful about, about that. But other than that, um, Mew is fine versus Ladi as well. Um, yes, it can burn the Necrozma, but I assume he's gonna wanna Toxic the Necrozma with the uh, Toxapex, so that the damage wrecks up more. So yeah, if he's Z-Move Dagi, he should go to that. If he's not Z-Move Dagi, he should go to Ladi. But the team that Blunder used on his channel, if I recall correctly, it was uh, Z-Move uh, Dagi. Mm -hmm. Tectonic Rage. And definitely kills from here. Yeah, Z-Moves are freaking broken and busted, like... No doubt, no doubt in my mind that it will kill uh, Kieran from 76. But yeah, at this point, uh, 
Lopani is gonna be a problem for um, for Zamrock, especially if he lets his Necrozma get toxic. Um, if Black Oblivion doesn't mess up, yeah, like I said earlier, it has he has haze on his packs. The, he's not gonna be able to um, like Zamrock is not gonna be able to um, put in work with his um, Necrozma. I mean, he can he can put in some work, but he's not gonna win. So yeah, we do see his Tectonic Rage and it kills the Kyurem. So you can go to Lopani or Landris here. And if he goes Lopani, um, I would probably just go for Frustration. I'm pretty sure Frustration kills the Dagi. So he goes on a Bulu, this is a Bully. Uh, lefty <laughs> Why can I not talk? It's a bulky Bulu with Lefties Protect, uh, Leech Sheet and stuff like that. But yeah, Hornleech is completely free here since he's out of range from the next return. So I would just Hornleech here if I'm Zamrock. Um, Black Oblivion is going to switch into his Mew most likely. Um, because he, Mew can just willow threaten the type of Bulu with a uh, Will-O-Wisp. Um, yeah, he's not gonna stay in. The pony is uh, really nice, and like, it might even potentially be able to clean up late game. See, I'm, I think Muse is best play, so that's not much to think about because um, I don't think he wants to let the Toxapex take any damage. I don't know why he protected Honlich was completely free there. He could have also leech seeded, um, but yeah, now Black Oblivion can either go for a Will O Wisp or um, just an Ice Beam. Um, the reason why he would ice beam over Willowis is because he doesn't want to toxic. Uh, he doesn't want to wisp the Necrozma one because he wants to toxic. The so that makes sense. So now he's gonna go hard to toxapex, and then either toxic or haste this Necrozma so he does not get um, completely um, steamrolled by this Necrozma. Because if Necrozma is on a timer, um, Muse gonna be able to beat it one on one. I'm pretty sure. So that's the calm mind. Let's see if he toxics or hazes. Um, Star Power is gonna do a good amount. Maybe 65, maybe 75, something like that. Um, since he has. Um, also a defense boost from the from the grassy seed, but the thing is it's only a one-time use. Pex is able to eat it up and he toxics. Um, now you can switch into his Mew and I'm pretty sure Mew can eat up Star Power because he only commented once. And yeah, he also has a defense boost, but I think Star Power's yeah, like it's Star Power's power is still pretty low, is what I'm trying to say. And the toxic is gonna rack up over time. If he switches out, he's never gonna get the defense boost again. And eventually he's gonna have to moonlight and set up comments and all that like he has to do all that and he cannot do it at the same time without toxic racking up, so like Zamrock um then rocks, um, the cross was not going to put in too much work. So Black Oblivion can just go for Ice Beam here, get some more chip. And I think Zamrock is going to Calm Mind because he ha wants to do more damage, obviously. But like I said, this Necrozma the is not going to be winning. And yeah, Black Oblivion plays, um, keeps playing smart. I'm pretty sure he has this game in the bag. So he's going to Ice Beam here and I think Zamrock is going to Calm Mind. I don't know why they're attacking so long. Zemrock can also switch out, but if he switches out, like I said, he does not get the defense boost again, so this Necrozma would be pretty useless, and this is already poison anyway. Might as well stay in at this point and try to do some damage. So Ice Beam and Star Power are the place, you're not sure why they're taking so long. I guess Zemrock is trying to think about a way how he can win the game, but it's looking pretty bleak at this point. So the Ice Beams gets a crit, um, that helps him a bit, but I don't think that crit matters. Um, so Zamrock either is going to attack here or start Moonlight. The thing is if he doesn't Moonlight he's going to die soon to, to Toxic. So he goes into land or I think predicting a Moonlight. Now he's going to U-turn out back into Mew. Toxic is racking up. U-turn doesn't do too much because of a Cosmos ability lowering the damage from super effect that moves. Mew eats it up. Um, so Mew can just go for Softball here. Uh, actually Ice Beam. Ice Beam kills, right? Yeah, so there's no point in Softballing. And you just get some le uh, lefties back. Now he's either going to go to Bulu or to his um, Ladi. No, no, he's not going. He's, he's going to go Ladi. What am I trying to? What am I saying? Bulu doesn't beat me unless he dodges every Wisp, but he also has Ice Beam. Yeah, he's going to go Ladi here. I mean, he can go and um, Dagi and potentially like toxic this Mew, but yeah, Dagi cannot um, kill the Mew from this range because he already used his ground uh, his ground Z move, and yeah, even though Dagi get an attack boost this gen it's still not super strong without its z move like with the z move gone so he's gonna go lati um black oblivion is probably gonna switch because he doesn't want this mew to get tricked uh and lando is still at full if i recall correctly so lando can take any one hit from lati he's either gonna draco or defog i don't think he's gonna trick again because black oblivion already went into lando oh yeah a trick and made uh, him look like a fool and there's the lando there's a draco miss um that sucks a bit but i don't think it's gonna be game changing um, this just means that he can take another Draco and he's, he can free to U-turn here. Uh, Dagi comes out, he's uh, now he can go Lopani again. Um, just click Frustration or Return. 
Dermox has a good fight and it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much over. Um, Dougie does to rock, so he's gonna have to sack it. If it has power punch, you can click it, but the set is um, that usually is run on this Lopani's. Oh yeah, it's copycat, like I said earlier. Frustration, high jump kick and fake out. So he clicks copycat just to flex there. <laughs> That's the Ben Man special. It was used in World Cup at Ben Man if he... Uh, so he's gonna go into his uh, Lando here, I assume. And then if uh, Zamrock goes into Bulu or Lari, he can just you turn out. I mean, yeah, the, the, the Draco miss was unfortunate, but even if the Draco hit on the Lando, Black Oblivion then knew that he was locked into Draco, and then he could have switched out afterwards into either Toxapex or Mew, uh, because it would have been a minus two Draco, the next Draco. So yeah, he can just... I don't know if Ice Beam... I should probably do it Chaos, because it's like some sort of bulky bull. Yeah, because see, I don't think he wants to risk missing... Yeah, yeah he doesn't want to risk missing a Wisp, just Ice Beam and put the bull in range from Lopanis to play the make here. So he's just gonna Ice Beam, put it in range. It actually doesn't do much at all. Considering, yeah, it's gonna heal everything bad. But the thing is, um, eventually if he hits this will wisp So at first I thought he could just bring it in range, but that's not how it works because of the lefties and the grassy sand recovery. Eventually he has to will wisp So Zenrock's win con at this point was dodging every will wisp which is not gonna happen. He immediately connects, and now this um, Bulu is gonna get PP stalled. Um, so this is pretty much game over. He can go to his Pex or his Lando here. Uh, uh, roost up first, yeah, it's obviously fine. But yeah, this is not gonna be able to win the game for Zamrock. And yeah, Black Alumni is gonna be able to pick up the win. He's eventually gonna go to Lando, I think, or Pex. Yeah, goes Lando, then he's gonna U turn out. Um, you only just, yes, he can like lead sheet again, but eventually he's just gonna have to forfeit and accept it. I mean, he can play it out, but it's gonna take a while and he's not gonna be able to win. Black Alumni is not gonna choke this. Okay, he lead sheet again, now he can switch into Pex. And this game is just over. Let's see if Zemrook um, forfeits and saves us some time. Oh yeah, by the way, let me know in the comments if you are interested in lower tiers as well. I recorded some Little Cup games, some NU games, some RU games, some UU games, also some Grand Slam, but mostly Snake games for lower tiers and also some Uber games. Let me know if you're interested in that. My man Ultra Bolt is, has knowledge in most lower tiers. So um, he's gonna bring you some of those games if you're interested in it. I recorded them, the games, I'm gonna send him the fire, he's gonna narrate over, it's gonna be fire. Um, I know he's really good at NU, he made it pretty far in like, NU Open, if I recall correctly. So yeah, like, let me know in the comments if you want lower tiers as well. Because like, if it's all you all the time, it might get some boring for some of you guys. Um, so yeah, Sex has landed there, and now he's gonna go Lopani or Mew again. And yeah, he's just gonna go Lopani. I'm surprised that he didn't click Fake Out because he could have gotten crit there. But I guess it doesn't matter because uh, Ladi would have died to Poison anyway. And then between Mew and Pex, he would have been able to stall out the Voodoo anyways. So he's either gonna frustration or switch here. I don't think it matters. The game been over at this point. But yeah, it's like um yeah, like let me know in the comments if you guys also want lower tiers, like I said. It's I'm pretty sure that um, my man UB is gonna enjoy doing that for sure. And my man sorry also played some games in Snake for NU and he does not play NU at all, so those games were really funny to see. Um no spoilers though. Um yeah. <laughs> he played three games. I only recorded two of them live though, but yeah. So this is just um, back of VMPP stalling this bull now. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. And I really hope I didn't wake anyone up because I'm like a bit tired. But I recorded the video earlier and I realized I didn't sound too motivated. That's just because I'm a bit tired and because people are sleeping so I can also not talk too loud. And this one, I, I think I talked a bit uh, louder. But it should still be fine. I have n n no one like was yelling at me yet, so I th think I wrote no one up. <laughs> Uh, it's just PP stalling this and I hope Zamek is just gonna forfeit eventually, save us all some time. Thank you guys for watching, have a fantastic day, and yeah, peace out, bop.